because the devices have changed. They now all have music. They now all have photos. They now all have video. And so if I acquire a song, I buy it right on my iPhone, I want to get that to my other devices. Right? I pick up my iPad and it doesn't have that song on it. So I have to sync my iPhone to my Mac. Then I have to sync my other devices to the Mac to get that song. But then they've deposited some photos on the Mac. So I have to sync the iPhone again with the Mac to get those photos. And keeping these devices in sync is driving us crazy. <laughs> so we've got a great solution for this problem. And we think this solution is our next big insight, which is we're going to demote the PC and the Mac to just be a device, just like an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch. And we're going to move the digital hub, the center of your digital life, into the cloud. Because all these new devices have communications built into them. They can all talk to the cloud whenever they want. And so now, if I get something on my iPhone, it's sent up to the cloud immediately. Let's say I take some pictures with it. Those pictures are in the cloud. And they are now pushed down to my devices completely automatically. And now everything's in sync with me not even having to think about it. I don't even have to take the devices out of my pocket. I don't have to be near my Mac or PC. Now, some people think the cloud is just a hard disk in the sky, right? <laughs> and you take a bunch of stuff, and you put it in your Dropbox or your iDisk or whatever, and it transfers it up to the cloud and stores it, and then you drag whatever you want back out on your other devices. We think it's way more than that. And we call it iCloud. Now, iCloud stores your content in the cloud and wirelessly pushes it to all your devices. So it automatically uploads it, stores it, and automatically pushes it to all your other devices. But also, it's completely integrated with your apps. And so everything happens automatically, and there's nothing new to learn. It just all works. It just works. Now, you might ask, why should I believe them? They're the ones that brought me mobile me. <laughs> it wasn't our finest hour. <laughs> Let me just say that. But we learned a lot. Now, the three core apps in mobile me were contacts, calendar, and mail, three things we'd obviously like kept up to date. We've thrown them away. We've re-architected and rewritten them from the ground up to be iCloud apps. And we've put them on all of our devices. So as an example, in contacts, when I make a new contact on my iPhone, it's automatically brought up to the cloud where it's stored on the cloud. Right? The truth is on the cloud. And then it's automatically pushed down to my other devices so they're all in sync. It's that easy. I just update a contact on my iPhone and don't even think about it. And that contact is updated on all my other devices. And if I change it on any device, it's updated on all devices wirelessly, automatically, without me doing a thing. So that's contacts. Here's calendars. Works much the same way. I make a new calendar event on my iPhone. It's stored in the cloud, and it's pushed to my other devices. Pretty cool. We've also added calendar sharing. So as an example, if I'm sharing a, a few calendars with my wife, school and soccer calendars, let's say, right? and I add a new calendar for a teacher-parent conference on my phone, it's again automatically pushed up to the cloud. and automatically push to my wife's iPhone. If she adds if she adds an appointment for a soccer game, 
Again, goes up to the cloud and back to my iPhone. It's that simple. And so calendars has, it stores your calendars in the cloud, changes on any device or pushed to all your devices, and we have shared calendars. And we think you're going to love the new calendars. It just works. And then we have mail. Mail was in the best shape of all, but it's even better now. We give you a mail account at, at me.com. Your new messages, again, are pushed to all your devices. And like we're used to, your inbox and folders are all kept up to date on all devices. So that's mail. And no ads. <laughs> We build products that we want for ourselves, too, and we just don't want ads. So we can't get there. So these are the three apps that form the core of MobileMe. We used to sell them for a subscription price of $99 annually. As of today, this product ceases to exist. And those three apps are now going to be free. But we didn't stop there. We've got three more apps that we've brought into the iCloud universe. The first is, of course, the App Store. Now, the App Store, you've bought a lot of apps so far. And you can buy them, of course, directly on your devices. Maybe the app you want isn't on the device you've got with you. So for all your purchase history now, you can see it on all your devices, even if the app's not there. And we've added this button here, which is download from the cloud. And if you want that app on that device, you just push that button, and that app is automatically sent to that device. right? And there's no extra charge. No extra charge. Now, We've done that for your purchase history. What about for devices you buy in the future? Well, for devices when you buy them in the future, you want to buy Yelp, let's say. The cloud downloads it to all your devices, again, at no extra charge, all automatically. So that's what we're doing with the App Store. iBooks, same thing. You've got your purchase history of all the books you've bought on any device. You want to get it on your iPhone, say? Just push the button. It downloads to that device. When you buy a new iBook, let's say you want to buy this book here, The Wave. It downloads it to all your devices now. And if you're reading it on one device, let's say you're reading it on your iPad, and you've just got to run. You get to a page, you bookmark that page, that bookmark is sent up to the cloud and stored, and again, pushed to all your other devices, so maybe you can read another, the rest of the chapter as an example on the train to work. It all just works. <laughs> and now backup. We talked about being PC free. Scott talked about how you can wirelessly backup your devices daily to your PC or your Mac. But let's do it to the cloud as well for those people that want to be completely PC free. So we've added wireless backup to the cloud. And uh, basically, once daily, we're going to back up a lot of your important contents to the cloud. If you ever get a new phone or have to replace a phone, you literally type in your Apple ID and password and everything will be loaded onto that phone automatically and wirelessly. So so we automatically do daily backups to iCloud over Wi-Fi. We back up your purchased music, apps, and books. We back up your camera roll with your photos and videos. We back up your device settings and we back up your app data. All to the cloud. So
So that is backup. And those are three other apps that come with iCloud. But we couldn't stop there. <laughs> and so we have a final three apps that are amazing. The most inventive part of iCloud, I think. And uh, I'd love to tell you about them. The first one is documents in the cloud. So if I'm on my iPad and I create a pages document, right? I create a pages document and it automatically uploads it and stores it in the cloud when I close that document, completely automatically. And it then pushes it to all the devices that I have pages on. So I can get the document between my devices. And we have put that into pages, numbers, and Keynote. As a matter of fact, the versions we just released last week have this in there. And to demonstrate what this is like with iWork, so photos you take or import upload to iCloud iCloud pushes them to all your devices, works over Wi-Fi. It's, iCloud stores each photo for 30 days, which is plenty enough time for all the devices to be connected. Devices store the last 1,000 photos. And again, you can just drag them to an album. They stay forever. And Macs and PCs store all photos. So we're really, really pleased with PhotoStream. We think you're going to like it a lot. Last, but not least, is iTunes in the cloud. You know, it's the same old story, right? About I buy something on my iPhone, right? Well, and, and it's not on my other devices. I grab my iPod, and I go to listen to that song I bought yesterday on my iPhone. It ain't there. Well, the first thing we've done, again, is for the songs you've already bought, we've added a purchase button that shows you your entire purchase history of all the iTunes songs you bought on any device. You can look at it by all songs or recent songs, or you can look at it by artist. So I'm going to pick Bob Dylan here. And I could download any of these albums that I've bought on iTunes to this device just by pushing that cloud download button. Or I could go in to one of them and just download whatever songs I want to this device. So anything I've bought, I can now download to any of my devices at no additional charge, which is great. This is the first time we've seen this in the music industry. No charge for multiple downloads to different devices. And for the future, I flick one switch to on, and now any song I buy on any device, again, will automatically be downloaded to all my devices. So when I want to buy a song, in this case an Adele song, it will push it to all of my devices. And they are all free. We want, we want every user to take advantage of these. And we know if we make them free that they'll, they will. And uh, we want people to see what these devices can really do and what the software can really do. So we're making it. So that's iCloud. It stores your content and wirelessly pushes it to all your devices. And it's integrated with your apps. So everything happens automatically. So a competitor that doesn't own the apps or doesn't have great developers to integrate with their apps, they can never do this. They can never make it so it just works. And that's what we've done here. 